Oh, hey! You interrupted me just as I was getting ready to enjoy a delicious Jimmy Dean croissant. You know, croissant is a French word. And it's really interesting is from a concept of a negotiator, sometimes we find ourselves negotiating with the French. So what's your view of the French? Is your view of this magnificent country and its people shaped by those Inspector Clouseau movies that you used to watch when you were growing up? If it was, then it's time for you to get over it and move on. They negotiate much differently than you do. As with all things in sales negotiations, there's no right or wrong as long as you are able to eventually reach a successful conclusion to your sales negotiations. The trick when dealing with the French is to realize that they approach negotiations differently than either Americans or British negotiators do. There are two key characteristics that every sales negotiator needs to know about when dealing with French negotiators. The first is how they approach sales negotiations and the second is how they view concessions. In all honesty, we Americans always seem to be in a rush when we enter into a negotiation. We work from the bottom up. We pick the first point, try to hammer out an agreement, and then move on to the next point. The French have a completely different approach. If I had to use a 50 cent word to describe it, I would call it a holistic approach. The French prefer to work on a sales negotiation from the top down. They'll try to reach agreement on the basis of some broad principles first, and then they'll spend their time working out the details. Now, while they're working out the details, they will constantly refer back to the central agreement on the broad principles. Since you start from a point of agreement, it always seems like the rest of the work is just sorting out the details, and then an agreement will be eventually reached. When it comes to concessions, the French have a very strong sense of quid pro quo. They always want to get something in return. Unlike Americans, the French have no problems tying strings to their concessions. You're going to have to give something up if you want them to give in on a point. There you have it. It is possible to reach a successful sales negotiation deal when the other side of the table is French. You just have to remember that their approach to the negotiation and to concessions will be different than yours and that you're going to have to make some changes if you want to make the deal work out. Good luck! You might be asking yourself, where do I go from here? The ability to negotiate successfully is a skill that you will use during your entire career. It sure makes sense to invest the time and energy that it takes to become a great negotiator. A great way to start doing this is to sign up for the free The Accidental Negotiator newsletter. This monthly publication is sent to your inbox and is overflowing with tips and techniques on how you can conduct your next negotiation in a way that will allow you to close more deals and get more out of each deal. We'll cover how to prepare for a negotiation, how to set up the negotiation environment so that it works to your advantage. We'll cover different types of negotiating techniques and when you should use them. And we'll discuss negotiating power and how you can get more of it. We might even cover a negotiator's career tip or two. Hey, the newsletter is free, so you can't go wrong there. In the description of this video, you'll find a link that you can click on. Go ahead and click on it and you'll be taken to a web page that will let you sign up for the newsletter. There's even a free gift in it for you when you do. Thanks for watching this video. Sign up for the newsletter and congratulations on starting your journey to accidentally becoming a powerful and effective negotiator.